Attention all F1 fans, welcome to F1 Max. Are you ready to dive into the scandalous world of Formula 1? Well, get ready to buckle up F1 fans, because F1 Max is about to take a look at one of the most controversial figures in the sport, Jos Verstappen. Not only is he the father of Red Bull driver Max Verstappen, but he's also a former F1 driver himself, with a checkered past that includes assault charges and public relationship troubles. And most recently, Jos found himself in hot water again after his less than enthusiastic response to Sergio Perez's first win of the season. So, join F1 Max as we explore the life and legacy of the most hated man in F1. Red Bull were always going to win the 2023 Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. They had by far the fastest car on the grid, and it seemed like it would be another Max Verstappen victory. But a drive shaft issue in qualifying meant Max could not complete a lap in Q2. The Dutchman would start the race in 15th, while Sergio had taken advantage to put his Red Bull on pole. The Mexican lost the lead on the first lap, but was able to get the position back from Fernando Alonso, just three laps into the race. Despite a safety car, Sergio was able to hold the lead throughout the race. Max did come back well from his 15th place start on the grid, working his way up to second with 25 laps remaining. Many people would have thought that Max would be able to chase down Perez and take the lead, but the two Red Bull drivers would do pretty similar lap times for the rest of the race. Perez had great race pace, and he eventually crossed the checkered line with a 5-second lead. After the race, Sergio Perez was ecstatic with his incredible drive. He did what most F1 drivers do after winning a race which is celebrate with his team. It was awesome seeing Red Bull celebrating with Checo, considering all he's done for the team. But it was quite noticeable that there was one man not celebrating with Sergio. Jos Verstappen was pretty blank-faced while everyone was trying to celebrate around him. Max's dad looks absolutely fuming, despite Red Bull picking up a 1-2. I understand that Jos wanted to see his son at the top step of the podium in Jeddah, but Red Bull still won the race. Jos has to understand how important Sergio Perez is to that team. Completely blanking Sergio really makes him look like a sore loser. It has also quickly made Jos even more hated than he was before the race. Even though he has quickly become one of the most hated men in F1, not a lot of people know much about Jos Verstappen, other than him being Max's dad. Max Verstappen is not the first in his family to drive in Formula 1. Angry Dad Jos started driving in F1 in 1994 for Benetton. He had a decent start to his F1 career, actually being the teammate of Michael Schumacher the same year he won the Drivers' Championship. Jos got put into one of the fastest cars on the grid early on in his career. With that incredibly fast Benetton car, Jos got two podiums in his first season, finishing with 10 points in his maiden F1 campaign. Not bad for your first season in F1, but when your teammate is winning the driver's title, you probably would have expected a little more from Jos. Benetton did not want him back, and Jos would move around a few teams for the rest of his career. He never really settled and did not have the career he would have hoped for. Considering he had four lower Formula titles before moving to F1, Jos Verstappen may have disappointed in Formula 1. It could be one of the reasons why he's pushed his son to be one of the best drivers in F1. However, his reputation has not been helped by a few off-track incidents. While it may seem like Jos Verstappen has gotten a lot of hate for ignoring Sergio, he actually already has a pretty bad track record. In 2000, while he was still driving in F1, Jos was found guilty of assault by a Belgian court. He was given a five-year suspended sentence after fracturing a man's skull at a car track. What apparently happened was Jos and a group of friends got involved in an argument with another group who wanted to use the car track. Things got heated and a 45-year-old man left with a fractured skull. Really not a good look for a man who was still in Formula 1 at the time. A settlement was reached out of court and so we're spared some of the details. What has also been a pretty bad look for Jos is that he had some very public relationship problems. Jos has been in court with two partners, first appearing in court charged with assaulting his then wife Sophie Kumpen. He was found not guilty of assault, but had violated a previously ordered restraining order. More allegations of assault came at Jos a few years later. These sort of things paint a dark picture of Jos Verstappen off the track and it's one of the reasons why he's so hated in Formula 1. That hate for Jos Verstappen resurfaced after he blanked Sergio Perez after the race in Jeddah. Jos has always been a fierce competitor, pushing Max to the limit in karting from an early age. He just wants to see his son at the top step of the podium. But you've got to be really petty and shallow in that moment to not celebrate with Checo. 
Sergio Perez has done a huge amount to help Max Verstappen. In 2021, he was the one who held up Lewis Hamilton in Abu Dhabi, putting in an incredible defensive display. Perez has always been the perfect teammate. Few drivers would have been so willing to let Max take the spotlight, but Sergio has done exactly that. If someone else had been Max's teammate in that 2021 season, who knows who would have won the F1 driver's title? Sergio has been a brilliant teammate, and Jos should have absolutely congratulated him for his incredible result on the weekend. But no, he had to sulk and ignore Checo instead. His reaction got him a lot of attention, with even former F1 drivers calling out Jos. There is no way that a competitor like Jos Verstappen would be too fond of the man who replaced him. Well, actually, it was current Sky Sports commentator Johnny Herbert who replaced Jos at Benetton after the 1994 season, and Herbert has had something to say about Jos's actions in Jeddah. Speaking on the Lift the Lid podcast, Herbert said, It was rude, but I suppose it is what you expect from Jos. He could have said well done and put his arm on him or something like that. Of course he's passionate, in that he wants his son to win as many races as he possibly can. He did go on to talk about that frustration that Jos showed, saying, I like Jos, but he has that little edge to him. That's a sign of frustration that sometimes he shouldn't show the world, but I don't think he should be so rude towards Sergio. Be respectful. It was absolutely a sign of frustration from Jos Verstappen, and it is really not a good look from the father of Sergio's teammates completely ignore him when he picked up that win. Herbert is spot on that while Jos is passionate about his son's success, Jos has to control his emotions better and he should have been happy to see Sergio win the race considering Max was still on the podium. You would have thought that Jos might come out with an apology or something to congratulate Sergio after the race. But no, instead he decided to take a dig at Sergio. After the race, Jos said, Of course we all want to win, but that was not possible today. The margin was too small for that. I don't think Perez gets the chance that often. He sees that too and then goes for it. Jos added that it went against us in qualifying. Bad luck, I won't get into that. We know what it is, but otherwise Max just easily drives to that pole position, and then the race is a bit easier. So instead of congratulating Sergio, he essentially says that Perez lucked into his victory, and that the race would have been an easy win for Max if it wasn't for the issue in qualifying. Even if you believe your son is faster than his teammate, it makes you look pretty bad to discredit the victor. Jos Verstappen has always been incredibly involved in his son's F1 career. You'll be able to find Jos at pretty much every race weekend, always somewhere in the Red Bull garage looking angry. So this is not the first time that Jos has crossed the line while his son has been driving in F1. After Sergio won the 2022 Monaco Grand Prix, he took a few different digs at Red Bull on Verstappen.com. Jos said that Red Bull were exerting little influence to help Max towards victory. He also said that from his perspective, the team had turned completely in Checo's favor. What Jos of course failed to mention is that his son could have won the race if he had just made a couple of overtakes. It was Ferrari's poor strategy that contributed to Checo's win in Monaco, not Red Bull favoring him. Even if the team were favoring Perez on strategy, why wouldn't they? He was the lead driver having qualified ahead of Max on Saturday of the Monaco weekend. Things got so bad last year that Red Bull advisor Helmut Marko had to step in. When asked about Jos Verstappen's comments, he said, it creates resentment within a team and gives journalists something to write about. So once again, it seems like Jos Verstappen is trying to create resentment in the Red Bull team. His divisive comments had previously caused Red Bull to step in, and they may need to do the same thing again. If Sergio can produce more drives like he did in Jeddah, then this will not be the last time we hear something from Jos Verstappen. So do you think Red Bull should step in and stop Jos Verstappen from being such a baby about Sergio challenging Max? Why not put your thoughts in the comments down below? While you're down there, why not hit the like button and subscribe? Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.